What exactly? Are you sitting on the world? No. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the St. Clair Antique Mall in O'Fallon, Illinois. I don't remember where I was staying. It was an eventful night last night. Um, we had, uh, I was staying in a hotel. I'm here visiting Jeffrey for his pop-up. Uh, power was out. There was tornadoes in the area. So it was an eventful night, but you know, we must continue and uh, I'm gonna go into this antique mall today. So let's go and see what we can find today. Ooh, that cookie man. Is that cookie? He is a $90 firm for the cookie jar man. Here, here's another dresser caddy. This one, I've had one like this before. Yeah, $29.95. That's about what they're going for. $29.95 and then it's a cool little glasses holder. If I can get in here. Can I get in here? Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, I can. It's $8.95. Humming, hummingbird eyeglass holder. Do the eyeglasses come with it? They're not bright. I'm gonna get him. I just think that he's kind of cool. I don't know. He's just one of those different kind of things. This is kind of neat too. This little dresser caddy here for ten ninety five. So you put your wallet in there. Nineteen fifty eight. I don't know. I don't like that. I don't know. I'm probably not gonna get it though. That's good neat though. The booth here full of ephemera, which I love. A lot of these are ads. Here you can see that they've taken out, probably maybe even out of some of these magazines, but they're ads um, that people do buy and frame. And they've got some sheet music. Oh, she's pretty. It's four dollars. See, I like I'm gonna move this big ladle. I can look at the sheet music. I like things like this. These are nice because I have a gallery wall that I use to, um, and I change it out for the seasons. I have enough for the 4th of July, but this is the army. It's $4. I don't think this booth is having a sale. Oops. Dancing with tears in my eyes under the old apple tree. That'd be great for Halloween. Booth, I've bought several things from before. I was in here last. Here we have a lot of blue birds of happiness, but I'm not really buying the blue ones as much anymore. This one's kind of nice, but this little bluebird knows for sure my love is deep, perfectly pure. It was Leo War 2002, $48, $45 firm. So I'm not going to get that. Take a look over here. I did get a couple things from her when I was in here before. I'm trying to be a little bit picky. Not this is $24.99. He's a little fox planter. It's a little more than what I can do for resale. What are you doing, buddy? Porcelain boy with flute. Yeah, you are. You're playing your flute. Okay. Tweety bird. What's going on here? Okay. We've got... This is cute. What is this? $24.99. It's a little child sewing box from East Germany. So this all, yeah, it all just kind of opens up. Well, that's cute. Oh, you're a big cat. You're $20, but... Oh, I like you, mermaid. I kind of like this cat. I don't think that she's having a sale. I might be getting you, cat. I think you're kind of cool. 
I'm just going to check out you too, Mermaid. I know you're not vintage, but $24.99 Blue Sky Mermaid. Wait, what does it say? It's a votive holder. You put a votive right there? Oh, that's scary. This is neat too. $75 firm on the uh, West Virginia string wear or string art. That's a different. I don't think that they're too terribly vintage though. And they are firm at $35. German porcelain fawns. I think I got some jewelry off for her last time too for myself. Some earrings. So let's see. Let's look through the jewelry. These are kind of fun. Nine dollars. I like those. And little figurines in this booth. Ooh, sweater. Oh, you're a part of this thing. That's why. Right. This little guy. I'm playing the violin. Seven dollars. Keep looking for sale. And then this girl. Look at her lashes. Wow, look at her lashes. She's got one little chippy on her lash, though. A little planter there. She's cute. She's $20. Oh, I see. Oh, closing that. Not this, but that's $15 for this little fella. <laughs> So it's, he's got a hat on, he's got books or packages, he's naked. <laughs> it's a different little guy. I thought he might be Christmas, that's why I was pulling him out there thinking maybe he was a little Christmas pixie. Going on to the next style, or the next booth right next door. Lots of glasses and that sort of thing. Babies. Books. Really been looking for ephemera. Tall Tales for Reading Independence. This is $10. This is Wigglesworth. Junior Science Book of Flying. Oh, Arthur's Baby. McBroom and the Big Wind. Giants of the Animal World. I've been looking at a couple things in this booth, and one of the things that I'm going to, well, there's two things I'm going to get. I'm going to get this turtle brooch, this little silver turtle brooch. It is marked um, best on the bottom. That was just different. It's $12. I'm also going to get going to get this little floral lucite brooch. It's seven dollars, but that's pretty amazing. So I'm going to get those two things, and then let's also get this little dog ashtray as well. It's made in Japan. It's sixteen dollars. That's a little more than what I want to do. But oh, I was looking at this. This is twenty dollars. It's one of those musical box things that pays um, strangers in the night. There's a cuff bracelet for $25. Not gonna get you though. But I'm gonna get those two things. And I was looking at this um, owl um, macrame. I'm not seeing that. There he is. No, that's not it. I'm not seeing his price. Oh, there, there it is. Um, he's sixty dollars. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, here's a dramatic face for eighteen. Well, I think it's just a tribal face. That music box is gonna keep uh, playing in its little spooky way. Pottery horse bowl for fourteen. Huh, that's really pretty. Hmm. Lucite Cork Coasters for $21. That's pretty neat. 
And there is some of these pedestal mugs, the green flowers on it. How much are you? $12 for the pair. Hmm. Those are kind of fun. There's a fondue pot right there. Some, uh, I don't know if these are vintage. I don't think that they are that color. Vintage style mi mixing bowls. Oh, this is nice. It's hand tooled. It's $18 for the purse. What else? We've got some brass. I have several pieces of brass, and I love to put different color candles in them. They're kind of a neat bird, the wooden bird tree. Got some neat things in this booth. So 24 for the wooden candlesticks. Not a lot of room for me for resale, but still a lot of neat things. Look at these ashtrays. Instead of two playing card ashtrays. For how much are they? $13, those are different. We're always looking for different things. Oh, I see double bubbles down here. I do believe. Yeah, these are the double bubbles. I have one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get those. Though They are... They're mail match. Uh, $10 for the two bubble bu double bubbles. Definitely I'll be getting those. And this, this double bubble plate. It's called Double Bubble because of that, the shape of it. It's $3. This is like a little Branchell Melmac. I will get those. Oh, well, hang on. We got more. We've got the Grady Boat. Oh, you get all three of them? For $5. Okay. I'm not sure what that is, but I will get a set of three. I'll get those. Well, that just made me happy. Oh, here's a little piece of Tanala. Oh, well, I don't know if it's Tanala. It's just Mexico. Mexican pottery vase with a bird on it. It is Ken Edwards. You see the K and the E right above the Mexico? For $14. Uh, I'm not going to get it today. I'm kind of not buying a lot of it as much anymore. I have some that I need to sell. Ooh, some pretty pieces in here. Oh, this opalescent here. That is Northwood. That is also Northwood with the cherries on it. It's $49 for that. $48 for this one. Some pretty things in there. Here we've got a little bisque baby. 24 Last time I was here, there was a big baby. And I didn't buy it. And I've regretted it. And I think that it's no longer here. That's sad. There's a big cupie baby. I think she was standing right here. This is a neat little matchbook holder. Oh, you're $45 though. Yeek. Oh, some, some groovy clothes. Oh, what are you? I just a little owl. Okay, that's too funny. Talking, singing owl for $18. Are you Hallmark? You are Hallmark, so I'm probably going to look you up at least, but I think you're pretty cool. <laughs> Put you in my cart. Oh, spooky. Well, this is gonna, this booth has everything I like.
$115. I just got one of these for $45. This little one I would love to have, but it's $68 firm. Neat. Look at the Frankenstein mask. They like their Halloweenies too. Oh, look at down here at Christmas. Look at the little pixies. Oh, I have him. I just bought him. He'll be available very soon but man you can't see the prices so this one is the pixie on the frog is 35. i can't tell how much he is oh it's almost like do you want to sell your pixies because you can't even see and this one up here is 55. oh he's happy to see his worm oh he is happy to see his worm of the Halloween pins. I wish this was open. I want to look inside. Look at these pixies back here. And the leprechauns. Oh my gosh. But it's odd because you see all of the tags are upside down. So you can't you can't see the price. So I kind of like makes you think that this is a museum booth and not a sale booth because these yeah so there's stickers in here that they need to be priced see it's backwards oh my gosh those are amazing but i can't see the price it's turned to where you cannot see the price well, guess i'm not gonna look in the booth or in the cabinets because i can't tell this is ten dollars for that little guy oh i like the little sugar so you get all three of them. They're made in Japan. All three of the sugared bears. There's a yellow, blue, and a pink for $30. The pink poodles, this whole set is $35, which isn't too bad because it's a different, she's a different stance. I like to buy a lot of these. This pink beer is $28. These are $20. There's a lot of nice things in here, but not prices that I can that I can do for resale. All right, so I'm seeing this art glass deer that just kind of caught my eye. It's twenty dollars. I don't think this booth is running a sale, but I ran my fingers all over his little points and stuff, and it feels good. I don't know. I just didn't think for Christmas he would be great in this in the display. So, maybe I might get him. It's in between, between him and the cat, because there was that cat over there that was also $20 as well. I don't know if I want to get either one of them right now. I'm still thinking about it. I don't think I'm going to get him. And the reason why I don't think that I am is this sticker on the bottom is just suspect to me. It's probably a barcode sticker, so it's definitely, I mean, I didn't think that it was an old piece, but it's definitely not like a Murano piece or really kind of high quality art glass piece. So going to leave you behind, buddy. These girls here, she's playing her little high, little cello there, but this girl's really getting into this accordion. Look at her face. She's really excited. Here's a little Christ Psycho Ceramics. I have the same guy I need to sell him. They want $49 from him. Um, he's got his little flower. There it is, Christ and Co. Psycho Ceramics. I'm not gonna get you. I need to sell the one that I have. Put you up there, fella. These are fun, these little anthropomorphic. Their cold paint is all but gone. $16. Oh, they're $16 each. Yeah, these are the little garlic keepers. They're missing their cold paint. Their cold paint is gone. I found something else that I'm going to get, and it is the... This, these are chalkware. It's a comedy and tragedy mask. They're $8. I just really like these. So I'm going to get those, and I'm probably going to keep them for myself. I'm getting this down here. My husband's always wanted one of these. It's six dollars. We all know what this is from, right? Yeah. <laughs> it actually look cute with a bottle of brush tree in it too, so 
I'm gonna get it. It's an Angie cattle hanger. Aprons. An Angie cat. This next booth here, I see these two little guys. They're like little soldiers. They're Raggedy Ann and Andy. We all know that. They're three dollars. They are. I said they're small dolls. I think that they were. Well, no, they weren't salt and pepper shakers. I don't know. But they are childhood memories, and I'm going to get them for $3. This is a pity. It is a treasure craft ashtray. It's of the fish, but it would have a little metal rod that would go all the way around here. And then it would have a little rest for your cigarette. It's a dollar, though. I probably should get it for a dollar, but I'm not. Because I don't need more things just to be on my shelf. So, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, where are you? You're a fun little pink fish for $2. What, are, what do you do? Are you an ashtray? Hmm. I don't know. How about you, Angie? Angie Al? How much are you? You're $2 for the Angie Al toothpick holder. I think we can do that. And then over here... That's this little pink baby for 50 cents. It's a little made in Japan baby. It's going, hi. Hi, I'm just hanging here for 50 cents. We're going to let you hang down there a little bit longer, though. I'm not going to get you today. I see a little brooch here that I think is really neat. It has very mid-century modern lines. It's a bird in flight. And I don't think that's the original box, but it's $4.50. So... I'm going to put that in my box. I just emptied out my bag or my basket. Ooh, this looks like Cordy. It is Cordy. Yeah, this is a Cordy. Um, oh, her hand is missing. She's $2.99. Oh, she's She's beautiful though, but man, Cordy is expensive. It, I mean, her hand is missing. That's, that's, you know, obvious. You can see how beautiful the sculpt is on her. Um, yeah, but yeah, she's, she is marked Cordy there on the bottom. I'm, I mean, for $2.99, yes. She's got a broken arm. But really, I mean, I'm looking at all her little petals and stuff. And everything else is great. So, she's beautiful. I mean, I'm going to get... If I have to sit and look at her for a while, I will. Because I think that she's great. So, you're coming home with me, Cordy girl. Okay, this booth is a fun booth. They've got all these witchies. What are you? Just a big witch head. Just a big witch head. For six dollars. <laughs> big witch head for six dollars. She's 32. Love is blind. That's why men are always feeling around. Hmm. Look at this critter. Be my love. He's a little fuzzy guy for six fifty. Just fun stuff in here, my gosh. James Dean. What are you doing, mister? What exactly? Are you sitting on the world? No. That is not appropriate. Ooh. Well, that's a fun little swan guys. It's $28. It's that very Coca-Cola bottle. I don't have my light with me, but I wonder if it... Mm, I don't know. But that's pretty cool. It's $28. Oh, Christmas. Something Christmas going on back there. Oh, the lamp. Oh, you about fell over, horsey. The Owl Lamp is 38. This beautiful piece of Ellie Smith is mm, 
$25, which is a great, great price. Wait, are you Viking? You are Viking because you've got the petals on the inside. I'm going to wait, though. I know. It's crazy, but I'm going to wait. You are amazing, Owl Lamp. I want these. Um, I think these are the more modern ones, but I want the vintage Owl camping lights. That's one thing that I would like to find. You're 18. I was trying to some of the orange colored things right now because they're heading into Christmas time. This is Western Germany for $15. I do believe he was a bell. This is beautiful. For $45. This is $15 for this ashtray. Hi, witchy. I'm just trying not to get overwhelmed with the orange things because we are heading into the holiday season of Christmas. You know, sometimes all the planets align and you end up finding a little Viking epic guy for $15, but, but, his tail is broken off. These guys would have been, his tail would have been like up to here about. So he has a broken tail. You can see if you look at it right there. And they've sanded it down. So $15 is a little much for me to pay for him since he's broken. But I got really excited there for a minute. This is also Viking, this console bowl. Which is a beautiful person. And it's 32 <sighs> Oh, well. It's not the day to day to find the Viking epic bird. Oh, here's a red bird though. How much are you? $28. Well, rats. This is cool. You're $38. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm sorry. This is art glass. The little music, music sign. How much is this little critter? $18. For that little guy in his trash cans. And this guy is 23. Well, fooey. Fooey, fooey, fooey. So here we go, though. These, they're glued to this cardboard for some odd, odd reason. We're going to see if we can, once we buy them, we'll see if we can get them off. It's a little skunk family for $12. They're glued for safety. We're going to unglue them. And then these little guys are cute. These little fun little kitschy salt and pepper shakers. The blue and pink doggies. For $12. So I'll get those. Okay, so I see several things in these booths here that I'm getting ready to go have them help me get. I think I'm going to get this set of these two Sasha mugs. They're from the 1960s back there. Oops, back there. And then I wanted to look at these compacts here, these cigarette makeup compacts. And then there was the other things at, it was thinking about getting this little, I think it's Norcrest. No, you are Kelvin's, this little pink. I think he's $10, so I might get him. And then over here, this is this beautiful vase with this ballerina on it. I have to look at it. It looks like it might have some little chippies there. It's $11.95. And then the ink blotter. I really like it too. And then, oh my gosh, look for $4.50. Look at this tea set. It's got cupies. What? So I'm going to look at that. And then, um, what else? This other, this lip, lipstick compact here. And then, what was the other thing? Oh no, I can't remember what else. Was it over here? Um, maybe they were down here a little bit. 
There were several things, and then I found another one. So I just kind of thought, well, I'll just go ahead and look at all of these cases before I came and got her down here. So I will have to figure out what those things were <laughs> before I go and get her. Okay, one thing that I'm going to get is up here. This is $6.95. It is a Norcrest. I'm going to double check to make sure that the flower petals are all still intact. But it is the wheelbarrow with the flower frog attached. I've sold these before and I've had people that... I got a lot of messages when I found the one that I had. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. Oh, look at that stupid piece of glass right there. Oh. $49.95 it says as is I must have some issues with it back there but it is beautiful well as always I always enjoy coming into St. Clair Antique Mall I got a lot of really cool things everything that I got I well with the exception of a couple things I did get several several sets of salt and pepper shakers so those are just gonna have to be a surprise you're just going to have to see those when you see them, but I got some really cute ones and they'll be available for sale very soon. But everything else that I purchased, you did see me pick. So if there's anything that you're interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and I'll let you know if it's still available or if it's going to be available in an upcoming live sale. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for shopping along with me. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl, I'm the sweetest one in town. You can search for miles around and no one like me can be found.